Okay, in this program, we will do type based dispatch. It's nothing but during addition of two objects by overloading plus operator, if one of the operand is a different type, for example, in the previous program, you have added two objects, but here, when you are going to add a integer data and integer data to the object and integer data to the object then uh, the different version of add method need to be used this is a different version of add method here what this does it first checks whether the second operand is of time instance or is it of object of time now, the is instance checks whether the second operand is object of time class. If it is object of time class, then it returns add time self dot add time uh, to the called function. Now, this add time once again written or defined by using two objects that is self and other by converting self and other to integer ok here time is converted to int and other also converted to int both will be added and the sequence whatever return sequence will be converted back to time by using integer to time function now here if it is instance of time object then it adds two objects by calling self dot add time function if it is not instance of time object then it calls increment function the increment function what it does see here when the second object is not is of time then second object should be an integer then the self dot increment function is called the increment function here takes two parameters first one is object of time another one is integer then it adds the sequence whatever received as parameter and the time which is received as parameter by converting to int and stores the results to sequence and that integer is converted to time that is sequence is converted to time by calling int to time function okay with the password parameter sequence thus this method is suitable this type of operator overloading is suitable for two versions of calling the operator overloading function that is either by using two object both the objects or by using object and one operand ok for this both the version of calling operator overloading this program works ok the add program works now if unfortunately if you call in this way by taking left upper hand as the integer and right upper hand is the object then it gives the type error it gives a type error because we have written the program for left upper hand as the object and right upper hand as the integer Therefore, it giving unsupported apparent type error. This type of error, this type of error will be solved by using another version of 
operator overloading function that is by using r add function this r add function takes both the objects as the parameter and then it calls once again add function by passing right most object now when right most object is passed as the passed as parameter see it is called by using self dot add other self is nothing but first object other is the second object then once again add method this add method is called okay anyhow it is called by using self dot add other the self is received as self here other is received as other you know other is an instance of time or it may not be instance of time then it works suitably for this uh, kind of function because it adds two objects in the add function if first object is instance of time and also second object also an instance of time it first checks if is instance other comma time if other object is instance of time class then it returns self dot add time with the other as object name this add time adds two objects by converting time to integer it converts self and other both to time both from time to integer if the second object is a sorry if second upper hand is not object means if condition is false it is calling self increment function self dot increment function which increments the first object with the number of seconds which is transferred as the parameter but this type of function call will not work for this type of calling because here first upper hand is or left upper hand is integer therefore r add method is defined okay it defines r add method define to underscore r add to underscore self comma other in this it's calling self dot add by passing other see second upper hand only it passes anyhow first upper hand is transferred as self anyhow here in other self dot add other it just checks the second upper hand whether it is an instance of time object or not if it is integer then it adds it to left sided object if it is a time then it adds it to left sided object this condition satisfied we will see how it works in the python in the jupyter notebook it is called i have written the program for calling t1 plus 1137 1337 see this is called as type based approach okay type based approach because even though first integer is object and second integer is in uh, sorry even though first upper hand is object and second upper hand is integer we have converted our program by checking operator overloading function with is instance okay and by calling self dot add time if first if the second instance is object of time otherwise calling increment function if 
first in uh, first upper hand is integer and second upper hand is object this is one more type which having first integer sorry first upper hand is integer and second upper hand is object this also example for type based approach where this type of call requires r add function okay r add function when second upper hand is integer or when right hand upper hand is integer right hand upper hand is integer now when right hand upper hand is integer this calls self dot add other by passing right hand object and self dot add this is for operator overloading calls add method where there is whether it is instance or whether it is other type of upper hand is checked okay if it is instance it will be calling add time to add to objects otherwise it calls increment to increment time by particular number of seconds it which is defined here thus we can modify our program and it's displaying proper result when we execute okay this is example for type based approach and here it is a definition it is uh, with the uh, different version of add method for type based approach okay definition for definition for type based approach and this also this also definition for this also definition for type based approach okay which is r add when the second upper hand is integer sorry when the second uh, when the first upper hand is integer when the first upper hand is integer it is received by when first upper hand is integer it is received by self comma other and other is a integer upper hand and self is the where the operator overloading function is called all through which object operator overloading function is called now here 1500 plus t2 is passed to r add okay because right sided upper hand is not integer left sided upper hand is integer for that purpose r add function is used where uh, 1500 is passed to other that is nothing but r add okay the left upper hand which is 1500 is passed to the other the word other or the variable other where you know self is the object and uh, the self dot add indicates with which object the addition of operator overloading is called okay with which object addition operation operator overloading is called that is with the self object okay which calls here once again add other other is now integer upper hand and this add with self comma other once again when other is a integer upper hand it calls increment function 
otherwise it adds both the object this is how this program works